Here we go. Where'd she go? So if y'all go ahead and share it on your pages, we are live. Anybody that's watching, hey. And my hair looks Right. And we are missing. Um, let's see. We are missing Carlene. Is she on here? Carlene, not yet. I don't see her. Okay. Well, she's. I'm sure she's on the way. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Did you say you lost her? Yeah, I did. I lost her. I'm not sure what happened. Oh. Um. Well, I hit the wrong button, um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm sure, and if you can text her and have her come on in. But um, Daniel, we can't see you. I'm right here. You can see me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, y'all tricking me because I see two people. <laughs> no, sorry. I, I joined with my phone first and I'm, oh, okay. I'm on my computer now. <laughs> okay. Hey, that is that. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. That is Mickey. Wait a minute. I'm trying. Y'all got ponytails? Hello, Come on, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, okay, that's Lisa. That's Lisa. Yeah, I hear it. I, I hear look it. so like Lisa right now. Like, huh? I, can't hear. I look so like Lisa right now. Okay, that's Lisa. All right. So everybody that's joining, welcome to Candid Conversations with Coach D. I am Coach D, Demetria Davis. Mm -hmm. And so I started these conversations because I just wanted to do something that was fun, interesting to um, the Facebook world, the IG world, and just to anyone that wanted to watch. Um, and so this idea came to me one day, I was just sitting there and I was like, what's the next candid conversations um, that I could do? And I was like, twins. And so I was like, I know a lot of twins. Okay, and I was like, how fun will this be to talk to twins, even during this time that we're going through of coronavirus, just something fun to take our minds off of everybody being in the house, but to get a bunch of twins here on, um, on one setting together, we have like seven sets of twins. Um, and we possibly may have a special appearance from some kid twins, Carlene, are your kids gonna make a quick appearance real quick? I'm getting kicked out. Boy, mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is I first want everybody to introduce themselves, twins, to introduce yourself, tell your name, where are you from, and maybe what you do, like your accolades or whatever that is. So on my screen, I'm gonna start with the Freeman twins and guess. So I'm going to start with Makisha and Michelle because Makisha is first. So go ahead. I, I am first and I am the oldest by two minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are the Freeman twins, but we're actually the Lewis twins. Uh, we just happened to get married oh to, and the both last name was Freeman. So now we're the Freeman twins too. And that was just a coincidence. <laughs> wow. I don't know how that, they didn't know each other or anything. It just happened. So wow. um I'm Makisha. We were born in D.C., but raised in Oxon Hill, Maryland. Um, I know Dee. We ran track together at University of South Carolina. I am now a probation officer. I've been one for 15 years. I love my job. Um, I specialize in sex offenders and um, murderers, things in the attempted supervision. Um, I've been PO of the year for three times. So that's what I'm most proud of right now. Um, 
I'm also a personal trainer right now. Dabbled in some CrossFit, some Olympic weightlifting. Um, had some accolades running track as I was younger. And that's me. I'm Keisha. Okay. Now, the twin, the younger twin, Michelle. Yeah, baby girl. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Michelle Lewis Freeman. Mm -hmm. I um, live in Texas now, but like Keisha said, we're from Maryland. Uh, Demetria and I crossed paths. A track. Well, before we ended up in South Carolina together, the first time I saw Demetria was at a summer track meet, and she walked up, and I was like, yo, she is not 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm, she actually was 15 because we were recruited together, so we ended up in South Carolina together a couple years later as freshmen. And so that was fun. Uh, went on to get my master's degree at Integrated Marketing and Communications and worked in advertising and marketing through the years. I've also um, run as a professional runner, uh, running on the 2008 Olympic team in a relay. I'm a sprinter and I'm 100 meters. I'm the founder of Track Girls, a nonprofit organization that empowers girls through track and field. And I'm currently the USA Track and Field Assistant Relay Coach. Yes. And, you know, you kind of put in there, you know, 2008 Olympic, like you kind of like ran over that. <laughs> you, you just kind of put it in there like. <laughs> Everybody, she is a 2008 Olympian. We have another Olympian on here, but we're going to wait till we get to her to let you guys know that we have another Olympian and another world and a world champion on here. So and we have somebody. Else. Oh, she is a, she's a couple things um, that you guys probably seen last week. But we're going when we get there, we're gonna talk about it. So next is Rudy, the Gar, Gar the Garcia twins. Oh, okay. All right. Hey everybody. Um, uh, we were from New York, but we were raised in South Florida. Um, I've spent 15 years as an IT professional. Uh, I started my time in the US Navy and now I'm I'm out and about. Out and about, right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, with us. This is family. I'm also a basketball coach. I forgot about yep. that. Um, and I am working towards potentially getting into coaching okay. at high school level. <laughs> awesome. And then we have Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel, tell us real quick what you do. How you doing? Um, uh, I'm actually currently a Navy sailor. Uh, I've been in the Navy for okay. over 15 years now. Um, and uh, also, uh, I'm an uh, entrepreneur. Um, basically, I am a financial professional. Uh, I teach families how to prepare for their uh, financial lives, both now and later, uh, prepare for the future, especially during this, uh, this uh, horrid time during the pandemic. You know, we have to rethink our, our strategy on how we look at money, but also how we prepare our family. And, um, and basically, I just show people another way in which they probably were unaware. Um, uh, also, uh, I am currently located in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, uh, where most military is either in Virginia or in, uh, in San Diego, California. Uh, uh, it's one of the biggest bases in the world. And uh, I am an, uh, an IT professional as well in Navy. Um, okay. Awesome. Let's see. Next, we have Darlene and Carlene. And so if we can, let's go ahead and tell about you just tell real quick where you live um, and where you're originally from, because I want to get into some of these good questions that we got. So I think we have Darlene is first on my screen. Yes. Um, my name is Darlene. Uh, maiden name is Moore. Uh, we are originally from New Jersey. Uh, we moved to North Carolina. That's a whole other story. But um, I came first and my sister followed just by coincidence, I should say by blessing. And um, I am currently a resident in Wade, which is right outside of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, Hamptonian alum. Um, I have, oh, I am a billing specialist, Caterflies Lifeworks. And uh, my sister and I just recently launched our business, uh, Double Take Creations and Events. So we are new entrepreneurs. Oh, we got we got some more twins coming in. Awesome. So that know. was that was Darlene and Car okay, Carly. Darlene. That was Darlene. Okay, mm -hmm. Carlene, because I know I know y'all apart. Carly, <laughs> tell us real quick where you live and what you do real quick. Well, Darlene covered where we're from okay. and we went to school, so um, I wound up 
coming to North Carolina, I guess maybe two years after they did, my job had relocated me. And so um, I've been here ever since. It's just a coincidence that they wound up relocating, relocating me to the North Carolina area. My background is in pharma sales, but I am currently at home and uh, working on some projects, starting the new business and um, enjoying my time here during awesome. the COVID situation. <laughs> Real quick, let's go to our international twins from Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> Looney, you want to go? No, I'm going to let Lillian go. Oh, Lillian, she's going to let you go. Hi, everyone. We're the Delva Twins. Uh, my name is Lillian Delva. And so we are originally from Miami, Florida, but our background is we are from Haiti. Our parents are from Haiti. We're first generation um, born in the United States. Um, so I, uh, both of us, and I, I will save it for when um, Demetria does her questions, but we're both in the military. Technically, I'm the first twin. I, I should be the oldest, but there's a bit of discussion about that uh, because my, the doctor says that I'm uh, that my sister's first, but my mom swears that I was born first. But I, you know, I don't know. I don't want to tell her that. Maybe the doctor could be right, but at the same time, he could be right too. Um, <laughs> so we go back and forth as to who's the boss. Um, oh, yes, and, I, I and I've seen you guys in action doing that. I had yes. the opportunity to be with you guys for a week um, on a mission trip in yes. Haiti. So, but you guys are awesome. Looney, real quick, you want to tell us what you do real quick? Yes, um, I'm Looney Delva. Um, L-U-N-Y, not L-O-N-E-Y, not the crazy Looney. Um, <laughs> our, our names are, uh, the origins are French. So mine is coming from the moon or Luna or La Lune in French. Mm. Um, I'm also um, in the military as well. We both have 19 years in uh, serving the US, mil US Army um, okay. in the US military. I have a daughter. Um, so that's a distinct difference between us. Um, I started uh, having children earlier than my twin <laughs> sister. Uh, <laughs> surprise. But, um, and that's a little bit about me. She lives in New York right now um, as an instructor at West Point, New York at the U.S. Military Academy, and I am currently uh, stationed uh, near Fort Meade, Maryland. Uh, we're both yes. heading out this summer to our new destinations that God has for us, but um, that's a little bit about me. Uh, yeah, I, you, well, you know why I did that, because I think I know where the destination is, but... <laughs> <laughs> one of us, one of us. You, one of you one guys. Of, yeah. I can't Both wait. of us weren't able to go, unfortunately. I want right. to go to the same place. Now we're going to jump in the middle to our bulldog twins. Come on, give it up for these Terry Sandra bulldogs. All right, Jack and Tommy. How are y'all? Hey, um, we're the Cooney twins. I'm Tommy. He's Jack. Uh, we were born in Fayetteville and we still live in Fayetteville. Um, in the fall, we're going to attend FTCC and play baseball for FTCC. Yes, and they are students at the school that I work at. They are seniors this year, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, so, and next we have the Jane Twins. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm Andrew. Um, we're the Jane Twins. We're uh, from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And like she said, we're both Terry Sanford graduates. And um, now I'm currently in school at NC State. And I'll let you tell me. Um, yeah, I just finished up my second year at East Carolina playing baseball. And that's about it. Yes, awesome athletes, both sets of twins. Um, next we have we have the barber twins. Yes, come on hey in. Hey, I'm Nikki. I'm Lisa, and we're the barber twins. <laughs> <laughs> um, we both went to the University of South Carolina with Dee and Nikisha and Michelle. Roomies, yes, and um, <laughs> also my godson's in the bottom, Dante and Dwayne. Dante and Dwayne. <laughs> So um, right now we currently live in Los Angeles, the Valley, uh, yeah, Tarzana, and we're both Jersey girls though. Montclair, hey, Jersey in the house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I ran for, run professional track, uh, three time U.S. champion, three time uh, world champion, and uh, currently I'm a coach, professional trainer, and I have my juice company and my jewelry line, the Honey Collection. 
And for those of y'all watching, who watched the ultimate tag last Tuesday? <laughs> y'all didn't I watch did. the tag? I saw it on I didn't watch page. the ultimate you tag. The minute, that's it. Well, guess what? Lisa won $10,000 in the ultimate tag, y'all. Come on, give it up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yes, Thanks, guys. the ultimate tag, okay? Yes. Hey, you know. that was rough. Me and my house was over here jumping up and down. It was like, it was not your regular game of tag, but um, <laughs> that was one of the craziest things I've ever done. I did not know what all was going to happen or what I was even going to do. But so tune in, guys, to Ultimate Fox that comes out every Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Fox. Yes, it's fun. It, I, it was my fun. episode already went, but even the whole the whole show is fun. It's a new winner each week. I it tried out. I made it on the show. But that weekend, I was getting my jersey retired at South Carolina, yeah. so I didn't go for the film, the, uh, the taping. But the audition, ah, uh, it was a little rough for me. <laughs> so I don't know if I would have went through the whole thing, but it was cool. So, and I'm Mickey, oh. I um, Olympian, world champion, and right now I'm coaching and I'm uh, making my winning also. And I have my motivational speaking company called Fearless Minds. Yes. And did y'all hear that? She is an Olympian. You know, she kind of went past it. I'm an Olympian, but, but we need to stop and say that we have another Olympian. Cindy. Yes. Olympian 400 meter relay. 460 yes. meter relay. And if you don't know, those of you that are watching, I am a world champion 2003. Me and Lisa were on the same 2003 gold medal world champion team together. So we got our gold medal and we were able to stand on the um, podium together. Okay which was mm -hmm. an awesome experience. Now, for our last set of twins, so we can get into some of these questions real quick. We have the young twins of the bunch, Dante and Dwayne. Please say hello and tell us um, your name. Well, not your name, hello, I done told your name. But how I'm old Dwayne. you are oh. Who's that grown man? Sorry. <laughs> He's the way I'm Dante. Uh, uh, we were born in South Carolina and- uh, In Columbia. And, yeah. And we moved to California, and now we live in Culver City. And, and we're both 12 and a half, we're turning 13. This June, this June 5th. Uh, also, uh, uh, we, uh, ran, we, our mom is the uh, Olympian, so. Yes. And uh, we ran track before. I almost ran to the Junior Olympics, so that happened. <laughs> Where is your mom? Is your mom anywhere around? She gonna make an appearance real quick and say, hey. I'm with the baby, I can't. Hey. Okay. Hey, Shin. Hi. Hey. I'm over here. Yeah, so let me tell y'all real quick. The twins down here at the bottom, Dwayne and Dante, we were in South Carolina. They don't know this because they were young, but Lashinda had practice or something like that. And I was at home. She was like, Dee, can you watch the twins real quick? I was like, yeah, y'all, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, both of them going, one going to be asleep, one going to be up now. I ain't, I don't need both of them up at the same time, but it was an awesome experience. One would sleep and one would get up. And so I didn't have to worry about trying to hold both of them at the, both of them at the same time. So y'all don't remember that y'all was baby, 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 <laughs> but okay, let's get into some of these questions. So you, um, some of these questions. All right. We already kind of heard about who is the oldest from some of you. But here are a couple of, um, let's see. Now, who are identical twins? Okay. Carlene and Darlene, Daniel and Rudy. Who else? Looney and Lillian. Who else is identical? We are. Tommy and Jack. Y'all are, y'all are. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of complicated. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know if we're identical. <laughs> Um, doctor, doctor never said is what our mom says. So, uh, wow. Well, I think y'all identical. Um, the Jane twins, I know y'all identical because I don't know y'all. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. Makisha and Michelle are fraternal. Right. Yeah. And yep. women, Dwayne and Dante, are y'all identical? No, yeah. we're fraternal. Fraternal. <laughs> I yeah, think I can tell y'all apart. I can tell y'all this right now. No. Mickey and Lisa are fraternal, but I swear to God, <laughs> they look alike. I know them apart. Uh -huh. they, when they got the ponytails, it's hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and the older they get, the older they look alike. Yeah. 
it, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. I was trying to, I was like, hold, hold up. They, but yeah. they're fraternal, but they look a lot, a lot alike. Get out of here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, mean, I used to confuse yeah. Keisha and Shell when I first met them. What? Really? In high school, I really could not tell y'all. I, I could not tell y'all apart. Y'all, like, the older y'all two get, the more y'all look alike. I told y'all, one picture y'all posted, I said, I really don't know who this is. Yeah. And I felt yeah. bad. I was like, yeah, oh, y'all yeah, should never. So, Dante and Dwayne, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dante is in the camouflage. You told his name already. Yeah. But I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. I promise I wasn't. <laughs> I, I, still can, I can tell by the voice. Yeah. So here's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask some questions. Okay. Now, one of the questions that some, um, that Carlene sent in is what do you do when you meet a other set of twins? Um, other identical twins. What do you do when you meet another set of twins? Are you like, ah! or are you just kind of like, hey, like, how is it? Dr the Jane twins tell us when you see other twins, what do you, what do you think? Uh, I guess my first question is always, I guess, being an identical twin is like, are you guys identical or not? Which if, if you can't tell, sometimes you can tell, but yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just a conversation starter, I guess. Definitely get okay. to know them just off being twins. I think for me, it's how, what's the time difference? Because for us, we're, we're 10 minutes and I feel like I've never heard twins that are like apart more than like a few minutes. I feel like 10 is kind of long. So I always try to ask. <laughs> Let's see. The Barber twins, y'all are like 45 minutes? 44. 44 minutes. Wow. 10 minutes was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and wasn't it that your mom thought she was done? Yeah, yeah. she didn't know she was having twins until after I came out. I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest. Same story. Same story. Same story. So, yeah. Wow. So, Carlene and Darlene, how many minutes apart? Four. 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 And your mom didn't know. No, they didn't have ultrasound back then. Okay. And actually, my mom wasn't supposed to have kids at all. Wow. My parents wow. had started to have um, counseling that they wouldn't be able to have children. And then she found out that um, she could have children, but she didn't find out till four minutes later that she could actually have, that she was actually having twins. And, and my parents were kind of shocked. They're, they couldn't believe it. Wow. Okay. Let's see, Lillian, you got your hand up. Go ahead. You want to say something? This is it. Oh, oh no. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here is another one. Okay. Um, here's something that I want to know. It's just a simple question. Do y'all still dress alike? Or do you do y'all still dress alike when y'all around each other? Or have you ever showed up somewhere and be like, I didn't know you were going to wear that. Oh, yeah. That happened now. Darling and I have the same necklace on, and we're in two different states right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, it happens for your, often. For your 50th birthday party, you um you guys were looking for dresses, and you guys ended up having similar dresses, but didn't know that you guys had the same dress. Uh, yeah, for, you mean me and Carly? So. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, that's true. Wow. We did the same thing for the prom, actually, <laughs> in high school. <laughs> when Our we were doing your prom, we had the same exact dress. I did wow. that story. Jack and Tommy, do y'all dress alike? No, but but we do have a story. So um, okay, this past year, our senior year in high school, it happened on multiple occasions where we would wake up and uh, get ready to go to school. We would like see each other in the hallway, and we'd be wearing the exact same thing. Like, all the time. Uh, all the time. Um, but we we try not to dress alike because uh, people already have enough trouble trying to tell us apart. Okay, <laughs> Dwayne and Dante, do y'all dress alike? No, no, we were not forced anymore. to. Like, we were forced to young, so like we just don't want to do it at all. <laughs> okay, because you were forced to do it. Okay, yeah. here's a question. Okay, those that are identical, does it bother you or agitate you? Sorry, Lisa, I did it to you earlier. When people say, hey, Mickey, and you're really Lisa, or do you got, do any of you guys get irritated? Like, no, we're used to it. Yeah. Been, okay. We, I think as twins, we just get used to it. And it's right. like, it's all right. We, we know what you meant. So, yeah. But I should have known the difference. Jack and like, Tommy so. to get their lighting together, sirs. We can't <laughs> see you. <laughs> Look around. Get the lighting. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the lighting. Get the camera. <laughs> 
I mean, the, the computer, uh, just little. Move, move the lamp closer. They, they, have have it. It. they want to see the faces. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, there we go. I have right. a funny story. The I have a funny yeah. story. To answer your question, um, yeah. typically we're used to it. And um, I don't know if I was going to ask later, but my sister and I, uh, there's only the two of us since my parents didn't know they were going to have other children. And then they told them they could have another set. So my mom said, we're good. That's it. So um, my grandmother stayed with us for years and mm -hmm. she would always get us confused. And like in the beginning, we were kind of like, well, I'm not Darlene, I'm Carlene or vice versa. So she always said to us, well, you know which one I'm talking to, you just come. So to this day, <laughs> we've been programmed that if anybody calls me Carlene, I'll say, huh? Yes. <laughs> so it doesn't bother us at all. We're so used to it. Okay. And we'll answer. We might have a blank look on our face, like, I don't know her, but hi. Yeah. <laughs> or him. <All> <laughs> but even we will always answer. I was going to say, even as a fraternal twin, Bell and I mix up all the time. So mm -hmm. when I, we don't look anything alike. So when I go to Texas to watch her kids or wherever she is, I'll use her gym membership so I can work out. People will talk to me like I am her, like she just had a baby. And I went in, they're like, oh my goodness, you look great. How'd you lose all that weight? I'm like, I am clearly not her, but they, they truly believe that I am her. And I just don't, I don't get it because we don't look anything alike, but I will always have a conversation with people as if I am her. I just roll with it. Exactly. It doesn't bother me at all, but it happens. Even to return. Exactly. Okay. So here's a question. Okay. Real quick, I'm going to go down, I'm going to call your name, I'm going to go down the line, and I want you to say me, and I want to see if y'all think the same thing. So, Makisha, starting with Makisha, who is more calm and who is more uh, outgoing or the hothead? Okay, I am not the calm one. I am definitely not the calm one. Shell is a hothead, but I'm not calm. Yeah. And it's funny because Shell and I had this conversation last night, and she swore she was the energetic, goofy one. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, not at all. I, I, like, I didn't even know she was serious because I don't even, where did you get that from? I didn't I mean, at all. Well, I mean, she can be goofy sometimes, but I remember Keisha always being the goof one, especially in college, going to the park. You was the loud one. And, 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 and I'm still that way. Oh, I'm still right. that way. Nothing has changed at all. And she'll probably over there with the stone face, with the straight face, like, hi. And I'm just like, hey, girl. You know, that's just how, see, look at her. Michelle, so you think you're the calm or the more outgoing or hothead? Like, I think that's a mix of words that are, aren't the same. Like, I, I think <laughs> sometimes I'm calm, sometimes I'm a hothead, sometimes I'm energetic and bubbly. It okay. changes. But for the most part, Shell, um, Nikisha, you're like the more lively cool. one. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Rudy and where did Daniel go? Okay, oh, I can get fine. Okay, Rudy and Daniel. Hum, Whoa. I don't know you, Daniel, but uh, Rudy or Daniel, who is more calm and who's more, you know, energetic, hothead, whatever? All right, since you know uh, Rudy, I, I guess I'll talk since you don't know me. Um, I will say he is the more calm one in certain scenarios, okay. but he's definitely the hothead. Like, and it's okay. funny because, uh, you know, he's quick to snap and, and I can get that way as well. However, mm -hmm. I'm more reserved. I, I like to, you know, see from the sidelines and, and my reaction is, is based off of, you know, who I'm around. If I know you well, you get to see the real me. Mm -hmm. If I know you a little bit, eh, you, might, you might get the stiff arm, you know, the Heisman, so to speak. <laughs> you know, it just depends on scenario, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't like to hide my true feelings or how I react because then you don't get to really see, you know, the emotions of twins. And it just depends on, you know, where we're at. And, you know, it's, it's quite interesting, really. You should have saw us in eighth grade. Um, he was so, in eighth grade graduating. <laughs> so I don't, I've never seen Rudy's hothead side, but Tyrus said, Rudy, you're definitely the hothead. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Darlene and Carlene. I know you guys, but I've never really seen you guys hot headish. I don't know. Or who's more, I don't know. So who's more bubbly? Who's more calm? I think it depends on the situation. Yeah. Okay. We definitely we can switch up. Team and it just depends. Right. 
Okay. This time so we'll switch up or I'm, I'm going to let you handle that or vice versa. So, and we know each other's personalities. Say, so, okay, that one's, that one's you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can go with that one. So. Feed off of each other. Yeah. That's good. Feed off of each other. Now, I will say sometimes there's things that has happened and we'll have the same reaction at the same time. And I think one yeah. of our, two of our go tos is the, one of the eyebrows, like, okay. And the other one is, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's see who we got Lillian and Looney. Hmm. Okay, so Lillian spoke last time. So, so I forgot to tell you, your sister Micheline in the beginning, she said for Lillian to speak first. So Looney, it's your turn. Yes. So who's more calm <laughs> and who's so more bubbly hot hair, you know? I, Lillian is definitely more calm. Okay. Lillian is very much the, the therapist. She psychoanalyzes uh, individuals and motives and um and i'm very much the hothead i'm quick to especially when i was younger i was very quick to use my hands and not my head um i mean i seem like I, I, you know i'm trying to be good i'm trying to have god use me but um back then, I, not so, much back then. <laughs> so quick insert real quick quick insert um rudy and danny are both hotheads lord espina your oh. mama yeah. Your mama said it. We get it from her. We get it from her. Your mama All said it. Five foot two of her. Okay. Five foot two. <laughs> let's see. Okay. Let's go to Mickey and Lisa. Who is more calm? Who is more? Let's see. Um, who is more calm and who is more bubbly? I'm um, the bubbly hothead. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Lisa's the calm, the calm one. Yeah, uh, I see that. Um, Lisa see, yeah. is more calm. Mickey okay. Do you agree one. with that, Lisa? Yeah, Mickey definitely more the silly hothead. The silly within high head. <laughs> yeah. It could go there. I can go. It's taking me a while. So you're gonna have to push when I okay. go, I go. But yeah, Mickey's definitely <laughs> that. I can't tell okay. the, the vibe in the in this combo. This is her. <laughs> okay, okay. We we even each other out. Okay. Andrew and Christian, who is, because when I see y'all, y'all always very respectable. So who is bubbly and who is calm, who's hothead? I'll talk on this one. Um, so I'm Christian and I would say I'm probably the more calm and reserved, which I, for most people kind of throws us off because I'm the younger one and everyone asks me a lot. I get a lot of questions like, are you the older one? because I, I feel like I act a little more mature and calm than he does. So I would definitely say Andrew's the more bubbly, outgoing guy. So okay. I don't know if he agrees with that or not, but yeah. What you think, I, I can agree with that. I feel like sometimes though, it's like certain situations, we kind of like feed off each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I guess the way you see your twin acting, you kind of like make yourself get to that point. You kind of act the same way. Okay. So kinda, that's how I feel. Okay. Okay, Dwayne and Dante. So who's, let me see. Okay, I think, now who is this in the um, army? Dante, right here. Dante, Dante you more outgoing and bubbly, right? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> You've been talking the most. So Dwayne's who's more? more Dwayne's a, just way more. Uh, He's a I'm going. He's a hot head a lot. Actually, he get mad. Over, he get mad over a lot of things. But oh, <laughs> some days it'll just be switching in and out. So well, I'll be a hot head one day. He'll be. He'll just be calm. You know. Okay, let's see the Cooney twins. Huh? I ain't never seen y'all like like that either. Y'all always quiet. So come on with it. Who who is it? Um, I'm Jack. I'll talk this time. I believe I'm the more outgoing one, and uh, Tom is usually calm around other people, unless we don't really know somebody. And then if Tommy gets mad, he turns into a hothead, and I kind of have to calm him down. So, okay, okay. Wow, I love this. Okay, so the last. Well, this isn't the last question, but I'm gonna save the good question for last. Um, here's a question. 
two, it's kind of one in the same. And I'm going to pick a couple of you guys to answer. So one of the questions that um, Carlene suggested, has anybody ever tried to turn you guys against each other? And I hope not. Um, and do you guys like get into arguments like a lot? Um, let's see. Uh, Rudy and Daniel, do y'all get in arguments a lot? Well, Tyra said y'all get mad on the game. So I don't know. I'll go first. I'll go first. Um... Uh, yeah, we, we hang out every day, um, 34 years strong. Um, I don't think there's a really a day we, we don't uh, hang out, but uh, yeah, we, we can argue over toothpaste. It don't matter. A any little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Carlene and Darlene, do you guys argue? I can't see it. No. In a bit, no. no, not really. No. My mother raised us where she was like, uh, I think we had one fight when we were like, 11 or 12 and really? my mother's like we're not having it in this house you're gonna fight somebody you're gonna fight people outside this house and from that point on she wasn't having it and we just never had a fight or anything after that wow. Darlene was mad though she did put a hole in the wall I don't remember that in the, the drywall <laughs> well, Wayne and Dante do y'all argue a lot fuss and fight we argue, we argue uh, It'll be like, not, argue like, like, not a lot, but like kind of like on a daily basis, it'll be like a little argument off of like something little. Like okay. on the Lillian and Looney. Go ahead, Looney. <laughs> no, you can, you can go ahead, Lillian. You can go ahead. <laughs> She's holding back. So we, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't, we used to, we had, when we were younger, we had squabbles. Like we used to like, bump chest and like push each other uh, when we were younger but my mom would always tell us don't you can't fight each other your family your sisters um when we're as we're getting older we have i don't call them arguments we have discussion because mm -hmm. we, we we are uh we see things from very different perspectives we're on the opposite end of the spectrum and so sometimes uh we we get into very interesting discussions about life and things in in, in general so I, I like that about us though because we don't see eye to eye um many things actually um but it all made for very interesting conversations that last for a long time <laughs> okay for a long time okay <laughs> let's see who we um mickey and lisa do you guys argue not really not anymore we used to fight till we were like 15. y'all would like go like fist fight uh, oh yeah all out brawls <laughs> till 15. Yeah. but then it got too serious it was stupid like, like okay we're too this we're, is we're gonna kill each other. Yeah, it's too bad. Let's stop. And then after that, not really. Not really. We get we have brothers. We hold on. We've learned that we were separate for a while. We lived on different coasts, and then okay. I came to the to the west coast, and then I got to see like, oh, we're we're a lot different in more ways than I thought. So you feel like yeah, yeah. So we don't we, really argue like we don't really argue, but we have totally different ways of handling things. Handling things. Okay, you guys. Okay, do you think y'all balance each other out though? Um, I don't. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's a balance. Okay. I don't, I don't Feed know. into each other. Oh yeah, yeah. We we're good company. company. Good. Yeah, we like good company. Yeah. Okay. The Jane brothers, do you guys fuss and argue or kind of over it? I think growing up, like, uh, just playing sports together, like, always playing every single game together, everything, kind of just, we were just big competitors, and that just caused us to argue. But definitely, like, okay. now that we're uh, definitely more mature and older, we don't really argue as much anymore and fight over stuff like that. Okay. What about Shell and Lisa? Shell, not Shell and Lisa, Lord. Shell and Keisha. Do y'all uh, argue? Yes. I'm going to go with a yes. <laughs> like straight up. I can yes. see that. I, mean, I can see it. I mean, and, and like Mickey and Lisa, we had brawls, like straight fist fighting when we were younger, but we've gotten better with that. But yeah. Shell got hey, smart mouth. You said gotten better. Does that mean y'all still gotten better? Doesn't mean we don't do that Listen. anymore. <laughs> we don't anymore. And that's that's probably because we live in different places. But there are times when I want to put hands on her. But you know we're far apart, so we don't. But we argue, argue. But we're good though. That's just how we interact. That's just that's love for real. It's tough love. So when y'all get around each other, do y'all like argue and go back and forth? Because yes, Shell got a smart mouth. No, Shell got a smart mouth. No, yes. I, I think we're good, right, Shell? I love you. Yeah, there we are. I was, I was like, like I mean, good. Yeah, I, I mean, just we're good. 
Yeah, it's gotten better. But I mean, yeah, we still get a little smart, you know, smart comment and out. You, that's you. <laughs> All you. <laughs> okay. What about the Cooney brothers? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably two or three times a week, probably. Um, wow. We haven't had a fist fight in a while, but we're still we're capable of having a fist fight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got a question. We got a question from a Facebook, um, oh. from one of our Facebook watchers. Miss Myra Clark wants to know, have the twins, any of you ever dated another set of twins? Oh. At the same no? time, I dated a twin. Uh, I, well, has anybody ever, have any of you ever dated another set at the same time? Or has anybody, of you, any of you ever dated a twin since you're twins? I have dated a twin before. Um, I actually had the option of introducing uh, the twin to my, to my twin, but at the time he was dating someone. We were, we were okay. teenagers at the time. So it, it would, it would have been an unfortunate situation to, you know, try to, in, you know, intertwine that, especially since he had someone that would be, uh, no, that wouldn't have been the okay. same, so to speak. Anybody else ever dated a twin? Dated a twin. Nope. Complicated, but not together. Yeah. <laughs> who who said that? Which part? So who said they dated a twin? twin? You. I did. Okay. I okay. Twin. I dated a twin, but we never dated two twins at the same time. Okay. Right How was it dating another twin? Was it like, okay, you a twin too? <laughs> It was like dating a like they don't like we don't look at ourselves as like twins and they don't look at themselves as twins. But then I got to see like, oh, like I saw how people view them, but they don't look at themselves either. And I'm like, well, y'all together, like y'all together. And it was like that's we do different things. So it was kind of funny just seeing that dynamic when I mean I could tell them apart and stuff, but it was it's just like dating a regular person. Like it wasn't nothing. Cause I could tell them apart. I didn't look at them as like, like I couldn't tell them apart. So okay. just regular. So here's a question. Um, and it's going to feed into the last question that I'm going to do. Have any of you ever did the switcheroo on a boyfriend or girlfriend? We never did one on a boyfriend or girlfriend, but we did one in a math class so I can pass the test. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> we so, so here we go so let's do this go ahead and so first because we're gonna come back to that Misha, um keisha has okay. anybody ever did a switcheroo on a boyfriend girlfriend stand in you know just like on the phone or hey or anybody ever did that not for like, real i like, we can play a joke play a joke and they see if they can get off we can oh, do what, that. that's what i mean like joke like Mm -hmm. You thought it was her? Yeah, we've done that on the phone, tricking people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Dane brothers, y'all quiet over there. And y'all laughing and smiling. <laughs> oh, we were trying to think, but I mean, I don't really think so. <laughs> Not with a girl, only teachers. A straight face. Okay, all right. Now, here's a question for me. Um, before we get into the, the question I want to ask you guys, do any of y'all ever like think alike like, and say it at the same time like, and y'all both say it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. Absolutely. It happens like oh. once a day. Once a day. <laughs> a lot. Okay. And here's one other question. Okay. So do you guys ever, because you know, like when you see on TV with these twins and they be like, you know what? Oh my God, I'm feeling my twin. Something happened to my twin. Do you guys yeah. ever feel each other like, oh, I know something going on with Mickey. I know something going on with Lisa. Oh, I know something going on with Daniel. I can yeah. feel it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like I knew it. You just wasn't mm -hmm. saying nothing. Yeah. 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 So yeah. like you can feel like what is it you feel like? Uh, something don't I, feel right. Like something going on with her. I can feel the vibes. Yeah. yeah. Like I remember, I remember one time when Looney was um, traveling, and, and she was going to. We, we were living in Florida at the time. And so she was going back, I think she was going to Gainesville. And I said, and I something, there was a, I sent something. I said, Looney, I don't think you should drive today. And she's like, oh, I'll be all right. Hothead, right? Oh, I'll be all right, whatever. And I'm like, Looney, no, I really don't think you should go. And so the whole time she was driving my stomach, like everything in me was just like so tense and tight. I just felt sick. I really felt sick. And I said, I really don't feel good. 
And then all of a sudden she called uh, in a couple of, still, I felt like that for a couple of hours. Then she called and she said, oh my God, I, I was in a car accident. Oh my God, I almost died. And she, she you know, crossed lanes and bumped the bumper and car flipped. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I just knew, I just knew that. And I just, all I remember was, was praying and saying, God, I know she not listening, but I just need your protector because I really don't, don't feel like she'll live today. I feel like something's gonna happen. Yeah. And so even and then, if she's sick, I feel it. Go ahead. Yeah. And then also too, when I was pregnant with my daughter, my twin sister was in Iraq. She was deployed in Iraq. And I was um I had got out the army for a little bit of time and I came back in. But during that time, I was um in the reserves and I was pregnant with my daughter. And um my sister called me from Iraq and she said, Are you feeling good? She said, My stomach is hurting. And I was like, yeah, I'm actually having contractions right now. And so while she was in Iraq, she was she was counting my contractions <laughs> for me and being the timer until like she couldn't until she couldn't stay on the phone long enough. And then, you know, of course, I went um, a couple of days in and out, ended up going into labor a couple of days later. But little things like that, even when we were younger, too, it was used to be weird. Like I would put on weight I would, and she would and she would lose weight. Then I would lose weight and she would put on weight. It was eerie when we were younger. Carlene, tell me about the blood story. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, that's leading into our last, one of our last questions. The last question is, do you, do you just, I want each set to tell a funny story about being twins. Mm-hmm. Okay, so since the Carlene and Darlene were getting ready to start, go ahead with your funny story about being twins. Whatever story it is that you got. Okay, um, I'm going to do this one in the pool. We went to a cookout. I guess we had to have been maybe 12, 13, and uh, we were in New Jersey, and uh, I think it's somewhere in Linden or something. My mom worked for you, the UAW um, Automotive Club, and so they have this annual family cookout, and um, so we both had the same swimsuit on, and you know, in the pool, you put your hair back in a ponytail, and the swimsuit was like one off one shoulder or something, and so the, there's like this long L-shaped pool, and then there's another pool. So some kid, he was probably close to our age, and he, this guy, he's cute though, uh, was dunking girls in the pool. And so we're not doing anything with him, but we're both in the water. So uh, he came up and dunked me, and I'm like, okay, I don't know this guy, who he is. You know, I don't understand why he keeps dunking me. And then, so I kind of go to another side of the pool. So he dunks Darlene and she's like, did he dunk you? I said, yeah, he dunked me too. So we both decide to dunk him. So we sneak up on him and dunk him. You'd have thought he hit his head at the bottom of the pool when he came back up and he's looking at two people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did, so, he didn't know um, you guys were Wow. He, you got, he, and you got, um, and he didn't y'all realize there were two of us. Oh, that's, yeah. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Um, uh, the uh, Okay, there we go. Dwayne and Dante, do y'all have a funny twin story? Uh, we were at school one day, right? And uh, it, it, was, it, it was normal. It was normal <coughs> at the morning and basically the whole day, right? It was, it, we, we got dressed and everything. And it was until the end of the day that we realized we were wearing the same hoodie, the same hat, and like the same sweats and shirt, everything. This is the same everything for the whole day. And we and didn't realize until the end of school. <laughs> Everyone was getting confused. Mm-hmm. I mean, the teacher, the teacher realized that we, were, that we were in the same class again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So have you, you, so you guys have been in the same class before? Yeah. But not, not like in a different period, though. Okay, oh, that could be confusing. Yeah. Oh, I, I, that would be real confusing to have twins in the same class. Okay, um, real quick before, um, so we're gonna go to the Jane twins and the Cooney twins. Jane twins, have y'all ever had a class together at the same time? Uh, we had a few, yes, ma'am. Okay, now okay. give me the funny story. Your okay. mom told me one about I'll graduation. Tell the story. I'll let him say. All right, so about, um, awards or something. So way back in high school, I got a I got a speeding ticket one day, and it wasn't in Cumberland County; it was in a different county. And uh-huh. apparently, in that county, if you don't go to your court date, that they'll send out a warrant for your arrest if you don't go to the court date for a speeding ticket in this county. Uh-huh. So there was a warrant out for my arrest just over a speeding ticket. So I couldn't go to school that day because I had to go to the lawyer's office to fix it. So Andrew was like, okay, I'll just cover you in your classes today because, you know, we had a game coming up. You know, well, you can't we also, yeah, it was game day. So 
to play a game in high school, you have to be present in school. Yes. Yeah. So, so he was actually in the lawyer's office sitting there while he was getting everything handled out. But it was just so over so like play. It wasn't nothing crazy, yeah. but it was just because of the county where we, where it was at, where I got pulled at. It was I had to sit in the lawyer's office all day, and Andrew just had to cover, so we were good to go. But that was part okay. of the so question was this the football game or the baseball game um i think it was football okay coach mac if you're watching you do you see this <laughs> <laughs> it might have been baseball actually i feel like it might have been baseball coach I willis <laughs> coach guy are y'all watching <laughs> coach guy knows he knows about it <laughs> um the cooney the cooney brothers have y'all ever had classes together or what is a funny twin story that you have uh, so, yeah, we have had classes together, at, uh, Terry Stanford and in our like middle school at Max Abbott. But our funniest story has to be in fifth grade. I used to wear red every day and he used to wear blue every day. So one day we were just like, you know, what, we're going to switch colors and go to each other's classes. And the whole day, you know, nobody could know because everybody used to just tell us, uh, tell us apart from the colors we were wearing. So we just went the whole day and switched. And it was, it was super fun. Those classes. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, I don't think y'all did that in, in, at Terry's Hamper. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> let's see. Lillian and Looney. Funny story, real quick. Looney, go ahead, tell it. Okay. You think, do, do, you, do you know what I'm going to say? Yeah, I think so. All right, we're going to see. Okay. Uh, so we did used to switch classes. Uh, but the funny story, it's funny, but it's actually kind of sad at the same time. Aww. It's um, in a way for me, that's when I got my act together is, again, I used to be a hothead in um, school. So in middle school, I had a, a problem with my, my mouth used to run a lot. And I, I had a really foul mouth and I used to get in people's face. All four foot ten of me uh, used to get in people's face real quick. Um, and so one day I was arguing with a, a girl. And I, you know, I got in her face and I said some words to her. And then I left, not realizing that this same girl was still mad at me. She found my twin sister who was very quiet, very bookish, and she jacked her up in front of the lockers. And so my sister, again, her personality is very quiet. And so she was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not who you think I am. She said, I'm, I'm Lillian, I'm not Looney. And the girl didn't realize that we were twins. So once I heard it, I had to run down the hallway. I said, hey, hold on, hold on. I said, this is my twin sister. You have problems with me. Said, you know, don't do anything to her. But at, at that day, I realized that your action can have repercussions. And I learned to curb my mouth and my temper because I didn't want my twin sister to ever go through something like that again. Wow. Uh, so it was funny, but it was, for me, it was a really hard lesson because I'm really protective of my twin sister. And I, I would have hate to have something bad happen to her because of my mouth. So now I'm a little bit more quiet. I'm still a hothead, but I, I guard my mouth now. <clears throat> wow. Okay. All oh, four foot ten of you. Like, I can't see you getting in people's faces. Oh, she, she, oh, was, she, was she was bad. She was bad, Demetria. She was pretty yeah. bad. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, like, it's like a chihuahua that just won't just, just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Mickey and Lisa, what is a funny twin story that y'all have? Uh, you go. The Trader Joe's. I've been going to this Trader Joe's down the street from me for like five years. And okay. this guy, he always says hey to me. We always talk. He always gives me extra samples and stuff, extra coffee samples, the food. And then me and Lisa went in there and I didn't know that they knew each other, mm -hmm. but he just knew me. But uh -huh. he was like, Nikki. No, but he knew me. You <laughs> thought that's, that's what it is. He didn't know we were twins. He didn't know there was two, two of us, people. nothing. He almost like dropped everything he had in his hands. He's like, there's two. I'm like, how did you not know that? He was like, I like to see you guys separately. Separate. But right. I thought he only knew me. She thought I he thought only he only knew me. Yeah. So yeah, we went in together that time. And yeah, he almost wow. lost his lunch. Yeah, lost his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> One more. One more was funny. Freshman year in college at member Indoor Nationals and I was running, she was running the 400, I was running the 60, and then we both, we both teamed up in the 200, but the official thought it was one of us from the beginning, so he thought, it's not till we came into the 200, when we were together, he was like, 
oh my gosh, I was wondering like, mm-hmm. how did you guys run all these races? You remember that mm-hmm. in Arkansas? Well, the official thought the official thought it was only one of us, and we were, but she, he thought we just running like all these races, but he didn't know it was it was two of us. I, I thought that was funny until yeah. we, until we came together and saw us, and he was like, oh my god, it's two. I thought y'all were running like this one person was running all these races. I I'll never forget that in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Yes, because you guys would be in the finals. We would all be in the finals together. Yeah, yeah. do you don't okay. remember that? You remember? I don't that? remember that happening. Yeah, well, it was quick because you know the fish couldn't really talk, so we right. were walking out, and he was like, "Oh, it's two. Like I thought you were running. It was one person running all these races. It was wow. quick, so <laughs> no, nobody caught it though. But okay, <laughs> okay, Garcia twins. Funny story. I'll go first. Um, a funny story to me. Um, I'll let him tell the the, the one about eighth grade. But um, when we were when we were babies, and you know, uh, real young. Our mom would dress us up in red and blue. I would be in blue, uh-huh. and he would be in red. And as we've gotten older, my favorite color is red, and his is blue. It makes no sense. It's hilarious. Y'all be programmed. <laughs> yes, it's funny. Now, I will tell you, my favorite story is eighth grade. And the reason why I say that is I was actually a freshman in high school at the time when he was graduating eighth grade. So I just completed uh, my ninth grade year. And I'm going to his ceremony and it's actually at my high school, right? So obviously I know where to go the whole nine. My mom, she drops us off. She's parking the car, right? So he obviously had to go to a certain part of the school because of the fact that he had to meet up with his, uh, with his eighth graders. And I'm strolling into the auditorium and the whole eighth grade class just so happens to be at the door. And they're like, hey man, aren't you supposed to be in your cabin gown? Are you late? What's going on? I thought I just saw you, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, I have a twin. I, it's not me. My name is Daniel. They're like, nah, that's not the case. I was like, my name is Daniel. I'm in ninth grade. I go to the school. I'm not him. So then here comes my twin. And he's like, hey, guys, what's going on? Like the typical, you know, movie <laughs> scenario, right? And then all of a sudden, the entire eighth grade, which is like 300, you know, kids at the time, turn to the right, then turn to the left and an explosion happened. Like everybody's like, oh my God, what just happened? Like the, it was hilarious. And here I go all shy and, you know, scurrying along back into the auditorium. I'm like, Ma, did you just see this? Did you just see what just happened? And then my turns all giggling and laughing and all that. And it, it was hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Rudy, oh, yeah. you got a funny story? <clears throat> or is that a good funny story? Oh, um. Well, I told you guys about about, uh, about the colors, but um, okay. yeah, we never did any switcheroos or any any of that stuff. But, no, I, I I like to be unique, as you can see. Like, like that, yeah. I hated to dress up like him. Uh, yeah, it, it's nothing against him or whatever. It just, you know, sometimes it gets tiring being a tw- uh, uh, identical twin. Really, and, your superpower. <laughs> It, it, it is. The Cooney like, brothers are doing like this. Does he get tired of being a twin? It, it's it's one of those things like you know. Hey, I know I'm a twin, but I'm Rudy. You know, I want you to know who I am. Don't confuse me with Danny. He is who he is. I don't know. Okay. I've always been like this. Cooney brothers, y'all feel like that, huh? Yeah, that that can be the case sometimes. It's just you get like uh, pushed into the same group a lot. Like not mm-hmm. a lot of people put you yeah. as the twins instead of you know oh. the person mm-hmm. sometimes that's that can get a little good. annoying you know what i mean yeah. okay that's, that's really never, really good that's, that's never really been an good. issue for us um because i think that darling and i have always felt comfortable with who we are as individuals <coughs> would you agree darling yeah mm. yes okay. Okay, let's see. The Freeman twins give us a funny twin story. You got one, Shell? I knew you no. wouldn't. I knew you wouldn't. Uh, I don't know. I mean, other than that time we swapped identity so I can pass that math cl- that test, I knew I was gonna fail. Are you <laughs> serious? The teacher could not. I mean, y'all don't look alike. I mean, they South Carolina like lecture hall, so you know, it's you know, body. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't look alike, but like I said, like people. I, people will come up to us when we're together. Oh, y'all are twins. I'm like, how can you tell? Like, we're out somewhere. Come up on the twins. I'm like, okay, but I like it. You know? So basically, huh? Yeah. Y'all did that yeah. in college? 
the math. Yes, oh, the math. Oh, yes, I was going to fail that. Girl, I was going to fail that test. A low F. Low F. Okay. So, I didn't know that. We did that yeah. too in philosophy. Girl, I did that too. We are y'all. We are If you're watching, we sorry. I know. So I'm so sorry. We sorry. sorry. That didn't we happen. Passed class, sorry. Shell passed for Keisha. I passed for Mick. So yeah. I didn't know that. Hey, you do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. You know? But wait, wasn't it weird when you, wait, so Shell went in for Keisha. Me. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Was it weird when you went in and everyone's talking to you like you're Keisha and it's kind of like, y'all don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. <laughs> Well, since it was test day and I like kind of walked in like a little bit like right before it started, nobody, I didn't really talk to nobody. Like I just grabbed the thing. I had like a hat on. And, but didn't we like oh, swap yeah. in the bathroom? Like I think I started in yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I came to meet you in the bathroom and you came back out. Cause I was oh, like, I don't remember talking to anybody. I didn't yeah, talk that, to that's how it happened. I went to the bathroom and you came out and I'm in there like, please let it work. Please let it work. I need to pass, please. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> So, yeah, that is a crazy one. Yeah, we didn't do that. I just Was went in. Were y'all nervous? Mickey, Lisa, Mickey, uh, Mickey, Lisa, Shell, and Keisha, were y'all nervous to switch? I was. I was. I she was. Didn't to work. Yeah, I, see, we didn't do the switch. It's funny here because now I didn't notice when we was in the uh -huh. so Like, Keisha, you went in and y'all went to the, I did the whole real twin, like, go in the bathroom and go yeah, back wow. out. Wow. Oh, yeah, see, that sure, was now, more listen, scary. She was like, I know I'm going to fail this test. Oh, I knew. I was confident in that F I was getting. Uh, about to get an F. <laughs> so, come on, Shell. Take I knew Shell was going to get an A and I was going to get an F. So I sent my team player in there to do what I got to do. And that's yeah. how it I appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's that twin confession. Of course, Nikki had friends in her class. So I went, in, I went in just as her. So when I get mm -hmm. there and they're just talking to me like a <laughs> nigga, like, I'm like, I don't know. I didn't even Mickey makes friends with everybody and talks to everybody. I see. I don't do that. So uh -huh. I'd probably been like, just go in and don't talk. I don't really. Yeah. So I go in and they're just talking to me. And like, do they not? They really don't know I'm they hurt. Know. Like it no, was no. strange. Like I felt funny to me. And they were just talking and so Mickey. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I don't remember, but yeah, that was funny. So, so that. someone said that, that this is. Someone said that this is twin confessions. Welcome to an episode of Twin Confessions. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. I will say all, all the secrets. One time yeah. I did it for work. Oh, nice. You did it for work? For work. Now it's coming out. Now, now it's coming out. out. Now it's coming out. Now it's coming out. We done set the ball rolling. Let's yeah, go. Come on. Let's go. It was a, it was a part time job for a school during, when we were in college. And we had worked, we both worked there before, but different departments. And I couldn't get off, you know, so um, I was sick. I was really sick that day and I didn't want to get um, fired for missing a day. So when my sister came on my lunch and we switched, I went home. Oh, they, wow. they just saw a body. Yeah, they didn't think anything <laughs> different, but we both knew how to do the same job. Wow. And the mind you, she worked in a whole a different department, huh? Oh, so there's the benefit of having a twin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, come on, come on in, come on in the room. Let's have confessions. Who else got a confession? Yes, Y'all got more. Okay. Got the the I got, I got one more. So uh -oh. basically, um, uh, in 2011, right, uh, my brother had just got out of the military. We were both, uh, well, we call it uh, IT twos, uh, information system technology second class, right, in the military. And uh, I'm on my ship. I'm on a DDG, and. I tell my entire uh, division, I said, hey, guess what? I have a twin. And they were like, no, you don't. I show them a picture on Facebook. And of course, the first thing that they say is, oh, you used uh, the, uh, some type of uh, program to you know, mimic yourself. And I was like, no, this is my twin. He looks exactly <laughs> like me. So one day I, I call him up and I said, hey, man, I was like, I want you to show up at my job at like nine o'clock in the morning, right? Because I show up at, to work around six o'clock every day. So at nine o'clock, he's like, all right. He literally Facebook messages me and says, hey, I'm, I'm at the end of the pier. And I was like, all right, I'm going to come get you. So I go to the end of the pier, come grab him, bring him into my space. Now, my space that I'm in on the ship is a secure space. You have to have uh, some type of security clearance in order to get in. So, of course, you know, I tell him to bring his uniform, but, you know, he didn't want to do that. He was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I was like, all right, fine. So he comes in civilian clothes. So I was like, all right, fine, we're going to get you into the space. So I said, like, buzz the, the, the buzzer. And when they see you in civilian clothes, you just tell them you're me, right? So he literally buzzed the buzzer <laughs> and they're like, Garcia, what are you doing? 
why are you civilian clothes? It's only nine o'clock in the morning. He was like, well, I just felt like doing something different today, right? <laughs> just like that, like just felt like doing something different today. So then next thing you know, I show up in my uniform and they were like, wait a minute, you do got a twin, <laughs> you know? So it's just one of those scenarios where, we, you know, I had to prove it by having him come, you know, on board the ship in order to get that notion out. Wow. That's yeah. Scary. Who, who else want to confess? Do we have any bulldogs in the house that want to confess? <laughs> Terry Sanford bulldogs? You know what? Don't even do it. Oh, hey, we never <laughs> cheated in school, though, you know, so I can't get on play. But um, I do have a, a story about a award ceremony because the teachers wouldn't let us sit next to each other in class, really, when we had class together. So it was kind of impossible for me to cheat off Andrew because I was always the one that needed the help. But um, we had an award <laughs> ceremony. It was our senior awards, I remember one day and Andrew of course was a honor roll so he went up and got his award and us being competitive I was like I can't go up and get an a b honor roll when my twin brother just got the a honor roll certificate so I was like Andrew you got to go back up and get that award because I can't be seen getting an a b he, just got a. <laughs> he, he actually went up walked up again picked up the a b honor roll for me and sat back down and no one really knew except for my mom in the in the in the crowd watching but you know we were just so competitive that i was just like i can't go pick up that award right now oh my goodness <laughs> this is good twin confessions we might need to have a part two confessions um <laughs> Yes, a part two. But real quick before we end, because it's 835 and I didn't want to hold you guys too long. I have a special treat. I got I got some more twins in the house. We got some, some more international twins. So maybe you can see. Come on, kneel down. <laughs> These are the Jamaican track twins. Shanae oh, and Shania. They go to Fayetteville State. They run track at Fayetteville State. Um, they are amazing girls. They are from Jamaica. They are CIAA champions. Nice. Yes. Yes. And, and so I'm going to tell y'all, I don't know who is who. I don't know women. <laughs> women. Shanae. No, no. I don't know. Y'all, I do not know. Now, okay, which one was the CIAA? What is it you was? CIAA MVP. Who was that? That's Shania. Shania. And tell them what you won. Um, so I won. Wait, we can't hear her. Yeah. Oh, oh, she can't hear you. I can't oh. hear. Want well, try it again? Yeah, go ahead. Out yeah. here now. Yeah. So um, I won four medals in total. So I had one gold medal, two gold medals, one in the high, one in the long jump, and a bronze medal in the four by four hundred meter relays, and another gold in the heptathlon indoors. And um, I also won the MVP award for the indoors. Nice. Nice. Congrats. Congratulations. And now what event do you do? I'm a middle distance runner. Um, I go 800 and uh, And also did it. Um, can't hear. Yeah, so we. <laughs> oh, they can't hear. So she, y'all competed against each other. Yes. Are y'all competitive with we each both other? Did no, we were just now. Okay, all of the brothers and the all all the brothers and sisters, <laughs> brothers and sisters, all the twins on here that did athletics. Were y'all competitive against each other? Mickey, Lisa, Shell, the Cooney brothers, James, yes. like was y'all competitive? Mm -hmm. We still Very much, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would, yeah, I would break my leg before I let her be something. If that, that's the bar. That's the barber twins. You wanted to say something. Yes. I met y'all. Hi. I've met. I don't know if I met. At I met Pin Relays. Did I meet y'all at Pin Relays? Yes. I and it. Okay. And yes. so yes. Yeah. Oh, hey. So we, yeah. we know each other on oh. here. Yes. So hey, listen, <laughs> everybody that's watching. Come here, so oh. so I just want to thank everybody for coming on. This was amazing. Thank you guys for making another candid conversations with Coach D successful. You guys are amazing. Um, and I just wanted to say, from knowing you guys, the only person that I really don't know is Daniel. Um, but I have some oh. kind of interaction with each and every one of you, and I just wanted to say that it's amazing to see that even though you guys are twins, I can see a difference in 
each one of you know how you say that they categorize you as twins yeah. but <laughs> I can definitely say that I look at you as not just oh that's twins but I look at you as Makisha Shell Daniel Rudy they all really know you like that but <laughs> well, you do um, Darlene Carlene I look at you as Darlene Carlene um Tommy and Jack just sitting here listening to you guys, I can tell a difference with you guys and with the Jane brothers that you guys are different. Um, Looney and Lillian, I definitely see the difference in you guys, that you guys are your own individual person. Dwayne and Dante, I'm telling you. Okay, who is that again in the um in the in the camouflage? Dante. <laughs> Dante. I'm telling you, you said that Dwayne is more outgoing. I no, because you've been doing a lot of talking on that. <laughs> Wait, no, we, yeah. no, way more. Okay, but I can see that you guys are different, and I can see Mickey and Lisa, you guys are different too, and I can see that you guys are your own individual person. So I just wanted to tell each and every one of you that y'all are beautiful people on the inside, y'all are beautiful on the outside, and just for those that are watching, do we have any single ladies or single men on here? <laughs> <laughs> okay Lillian and Looney are available they are they're available wait wait wait, wait, okay. wait, wait hold on <laughs> wait, wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute no wait a minute Looney's like D <laughs> I'm not expecting that I was, I was Come like on, cut 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 so we um, I mean you know these are this is a handsome group of men and a beautiful, gorgeous oh, group of, of women. <laughs> Looney is serious, like, <laughs> like stop. okay. So oh, hey, okay. we got some, we got you know, some single ladies, we got some single men on here. They are all mm -hmm. amazing men and women. Um, listen, if you come to me talking about hook me up, I'm not hooking you up. <laughs> okay, you gotta do that on your own. Real quick story, Shell's husband. David is my little brother from Fayetteville, North Carolina. This is back when MySpace was going, y'all. Y'all remember MySpace? Oh, Lord. In college. <laughs> and one day he hit me up. He was like, D, yo, who is this such and such girl? I said, oh, that's Shell. And he was like, do. He was like, I need you to hook me up. I said, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. He was no. like, really? I said, I'm not hooking you up. I said, if you want to talk to her, you got to go on your own. Mm -hmm. Okay, this ain't got nothing to do with me. And he went on his own and he, you know, he now they married and their first date was actually at my house. <laughs> I know. But Crazy. so don't nobody come to me and say, hey, can you hook me up? Because I'm not gonna hook you up. Um, you gotta go on your own. Okay. So any um, you gotta go on your own. But again, thank everybody for coming on here. You guys are amazing. Um, I don't think we have any more um questions on here. I think everybody enjoyed it. This was this was awesome. And Fun. so Everybody, we're signing out. This has been It Takes Two to Make Things Go Right, okay? You always got to have a set of twins in your life, okay? I can tell you that having twins in your life is really fun, okay? Even in college, it was always fun having a set of twins around you. If you don't know some twins, get to know some twins, okay? <laughs> they're energetic and they're fun and it's amazing. So, Thank you guys again for taking time out today um, and coming on Candid Conversations with Coach D. Come back every Thursday. I'm doing something, whether it's cooking or a conversation, okay? Come back um, at 7.30 here on my page, Demetria Davis or Parallel Fitness. Tag me, shout me out. Tag anybody on here, shout me out. And let's remember, it's more than a workout. It is your life. That is my motto. It is your life, okay, with anything that you do. I love y'all, and we'll see you guys again. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Coach.